Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to check out another method of doing the 9.00 jailbreak. It's pretty much the same method, but this one will auto load goal 10 for us. Um, there's no need to have a PC. You'll still need to make the USB because that is the way the exploit is done, but you just don't have to worry about loading goal 10. Uh, if you were having issues earlier with goal 10, crashing or kernel panics like that, Gold 10 has been fixed, so we're going to go ahead with a new version of it, and we'll see how well it works. So we'll go ahead and start off with our USB, so we'll go ahead and make it. We'll open up our Win32, and we're going to go ahead and just confirm that we select the correct USB drive. I only have one plugged in, so I'm good to go. And then we'll go ahead and browse for our image. Our image is on our desktop, so we'll go ahead and choose it. Then we'll go ahead and just hit right. It shouldn't take long at all. It's very small. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and hit OK. We can go ahead and jump over to the PS4 now. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we can go over to Settings. I will show you that we do not have debug settings. Go to our system. And we go to System Information, and you can see that we are running 9.00. Go ahead and back out of there. We're going to go up and enable our network. And then we'll go ahead and back out and launch our browser. We did the usual, just close out that first window. Go ahead and clear our browser history. And go into settings and delete cookies and clear our website data. Go ahead and go up to our address bar. And we're going to use a NASCIS host, it's just what I use. I find it really good, so we'll go ahead and use that. There we go. And we'll give it a few moments here to install the cache. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, there's 15% uh, now. So we'll give it a few moments. Uh, we'll get our USB set up and ready to go for when we need to put it in. Okay, almost 50%. And once you do have the cache installed, you don't need to... Uh, continue to install the cache. You can go ahead and just stay offline, um, but you will still need your USB each time you do the jailbreak. If you're looking to uh, just keep the jailbreak, just go ahead and jump into rest mode. Once you do come out of rest mode, the jailbreak will stay. Okay, 80%. Okay, almost 100%. And cache successful. Give it a moment here to load. What I like to do is I like to go into payload before I do uh, cache the jailbreak. I'll just go into payload, and then I go ahead and go back to jailbreak. I find that it uh, it stores it all a lot better. So let's go ahead and cache the jailbreak now. Okay, so it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it is 100%. Cache successful. So we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button over to our settings and we'll go ahead and disconnect from the internet. Go ahead and relaunch our browser and we'll go ahead and click on jailbreak. Give it a few moments the circle will lock up but it will give us a message to go ahead and insert our USB. It shouldn't take too long to pop up. There it is there, so we'll go ahead and plug in our USB. Okay, uh, and we'll just wait for the unsupported file system message to pop up. And there we go, the USB storage device file system is unsupported. We can go ahead and click OK now. And there we go, Gold 10 2.0 loaded, coded by, coded by Sistro. There's not enough memory, don't worry about that. Go ahead and click OK on it. We can unplug our USB stick at this time. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go over to our settings. You can see that we do have Gold 10 as well as debug settings should be at the bottom. Let's go ahead and enable our network. And we can go up to Gold 10. Go ahead and launch our FTP server as well as our bin server. And we should get it. There we go. Our bin server is 
listening on port 9090. Go ahead and enable our FTP. And FTP is listening on IP address 10.0.0.223. And that's basically it for the video, guys. If you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.